everyone knows that we need to save the bees, but for the everyday person, how do we do this? The bee is an ingredient uh, to this planet, which we must uh, cherish and uh, look after. Probably the most important thing is the habitat. We need to stop destroying uh, flowers, destroying uh, forests, destroying the green, which is what bees uh, rely on uh, as resources and as a habitat as well. So uh, plant trees, plant flowers, plant the green, restore the green. It's probably the absolute first priority. One of the best things we can do for bees is provide them with food and shelter. So for example, leaving your lawn to grow long, allowing the plants in the lawn to flower. Not having things such as artificial lawns and plants in the garden. These have serious negative environmental impacts, not just on bees, but on all other wildlife in gardens. My advice really would be what to leave. So from my honey analysis or my beehives, they visit a lot of weeds, or what we would call weeds, or what some people call weeds. So things like clover and bramble and nettles are really important for pollinators, including bees. Being light-handed with insecticides, allowing corners or small parts of their gardens to become maybe a bit messy and unkempt, not disturbing soil or overturning compost heaps too often and merely making sure that there's lots of useful flowers year round for bees to forage on and really thinking about not just how the garden's used by us but how it's used by our kind of bee friends as well do a bit of research on all types of bees really so not just honeybees but also solitary bees and bumblebees and what is local in your area and what plants you can put out for them that will last all the way through the year or seasonal plants so there's food all year round for different types of bees a lot of people think getting a beehive is an answer to solve about pollination issues and helping the environment, but in fact it's the unsung heroes like the solitary bees and the bumblebees that need more help than ever. There are so many bee species, many of which we haven't even documented or named, that have crucial roles in keeping the planet running. And I think the main misunderstanding tends to be that we're not really talking about one bee or ten bees or even a few hundred species of bees. We're talking about a huge diversity of different animals, all of which need saving. And that it's not just about honeybees and beekeeping, which are a useful part of uh, saving the bees, but it goes far beyond that. Even if you haven't got a garden, that you've got a yard, you can plant some plants in a planter, you can have a hanging basket. If you haven't got access to any outside space, you can volunteer with a, a local wildlife trust or conservation organisation making habitat for bees and other insects. Bees are amazing, they're fascinating, there's so many of them and I've been studying bees for so many years but there's still a great deal to learn and I'm just yeah, really keen to get out there, observe bees and encourage everyone to observe them with me. Honeybees and bumblebees, they're a collective and they work together for the greater good. So they are future-proofing their colony and I think if we take a leaf out of their book we can learn a lot.